Hi everyone and welcome along. Now I imagine uh, lots of you have been wearing your Wellington boots or your wellies for a lot longer than you imagined this spring so I thought we would do a really nice painting featuring some wellies and maybe some flowers in there as well. So grab your paints and let's get started. Well I don't know if you can hear the rain outside now as I film but goodness me. Um, right so we are going to draw a pair of wellies so I'm going to begin with the sort of tops, the calves, then it, it narrows a bit. I find it much easier to draw each section on both before going on to the next section. And then out to the foot. So the inner curve is a bit simpler and the outer one's sort of got an extra little bulge. And that flattens a little bit and then And what I find is it's helpful to do some of the sort of little shapes and details on the boots. So a bit at the top. Some brands have a little logo at the front there, and they usually have a little buckle. Then the plastic moulding curve there and then not all wellies have all this stuff but I find it useful for when I'm when I'm painting on all the details then the sort of front of the shoe lovely and then I thought what might be nice is to just do some lovely sort of big daisies coming out the top. So instead of worrying too much about sort of exactly where those are going to go, I thought what I might do is use a bit of masking fluid to paint in some daisies and then we can just place in lots of lovely greenery around the edge. So you're going to need a bit of masking fluid. I use Winsor Newton Artist mask, no, Art Masking Fluid. It's very good. So I'm going to get a little bit of that into a separate palette. So here's the masking fluid and you could draw in some little circles or <clears throat> dashes if you wanted to. Um, I'm filling in a few more just sort of freehand different sized flowers. Not all even have to feature uh, a middle, an obvious centre. Um, I feel like I quite like that. I might have one or two just overlapping over the front. And then just a few little dots. Okay, that's nice. I can never, I can never stop. I can never help myself with these things. Anyway, there's our masking fluid. We want that to dry 100% before we start painting. I'm going to do some cheerful yellow wellies. So I've got cadmium yellow here and a bit of lemon yellow probably be useful too. So because I'm using a light colour, um, I can paint right up to the top of the welly boot and not worry too much about uh, the impact it'll have on the flowers because uh, we'll be able to paint uh, leaves and things over the yellow. Um, but welly boots are shiny or like they've got a, a sheen to them. Sorry, I'm just looking for a different brush. 
Oh yeah, there it is, so it's right in front of me, size two. Um, so I'm going to paint these with that in mind. So I'm, I'm using lots of unpainted space, as you can see, to just capture the finish on them. And then I'll also use a little bit of cadmium orange to just get almost a sort of low light on these. And in this house, at least, and I'm sure in all other houses, the wellies don't often look this clean. So we're going to get a bit of a bit of colour going on and maybe a, a puddle or two. So I've just got moon glow. There we go. Lovely colour moon glow. And Payne's grey as well as burnt sienna. I'm just going to begin with a very dilute, very dilute bit of moon glow. And the idea is, is that there's a tiny bit of yellow creeping out from there. A little bit of Payne's grey just popping up. And a little bit of that mud of the burnt sienna. And you might go, oh, that's really ruined it. Don't worry, these things dry a lot lighter. And uh, well, well, these can always be cleaned, can't they? Things have much more character with a little bit of light and shade on them. I also love a little bit of a splatter. And I bet your kids do as well, <laughs> if you have children who enjoy jumping in puddles. Um, right, okay, so I think it's time now to head up the page. Let's just check our masking fluid is dry. So it's just tacky to the touch, that's great. And I am going to use a much smaller brush to start painting in leaves and stems on our flowers. So I've got a four tenths and green gold and I'm gonna sort of begin by very roughly just seeing where all my flowers are. And then once we've got those all connected up, we'll start adding in some deeper colors and start sort of filling out the areas. Now some sap green and I'm very much just scribbling the brush. One important thing is to make sure you get sort of right down to the edge of the boot. And as I've done a few on the other one, a few bits just overhanging. There may be a few leaves here and there. You 
you just want to make sure that you're happy with the distribution of leaves and flowers and it's always good to have a few just sort of asymmetrical bits um, yeah happy with that okay so we'll leave that to dry but we can fill in the centers of our flowers if we can even remember where they all are it's a little bit tricky to see isn't it I did uh, a little box of cadmium red and then with my very small four tenths brush you could absolutely use a pen if you wanted just written the hunter brand in the welly label because those are the wellies that I've got so that's my reference and just fill in the other one too. We're going to be rubbing out the pencil quite soon um, and so what would be nice is to just be able to define some of these uh, pencil details that I put on the welly at the beginning when I was drawing it. So I've mixed some yellow ochre with some cadmium yellow just to make it that little bit deeper and I'm just going to paint in some of those details and then we can rub it out and see what it looks like. Okay, now everything's dried. We can peel away the masking fluid. I just do it with my finger. And that looks really lovely and what I'd be inclined to do is take a little bit of moon glow and just bring out some of the white petals just give them that tiny bit of shadow on them just a little bit and you can see I'm using the tiniest amount of colour and then we can rub out the pencil and there we go I've rubbed out the pencil with the tiny bit left of my <laughs> current eraser and I think it looks really gorgeous. A really cool spring card, especially if you're having the kind of spring we're having. Um, and thank you so much. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with it. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, just hit the subscribe button and you'll never miss us. So we'll see you again next time. Bye.